Hi all, this is Yunus. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about a simple Jenkins CACD pipeline. We will see how we can set up this end-to-end -end continuous deployment pipeline using Jenkins. So let's begin. The first task of this lab is to install EC2. So let me do that as the first step. Launch instances. I'll give the name as Jenkins and uh, I'll choose Ubuntu and the default AMI is fine. Come down. Instance type, let's select T2 medium so that we get more RAM basically. Okay. T2 micro has 1 GB RAM whereas T2 medium has 4 GB. We'll need it. So let's go for T2 medium. Key pair, please create one if you don't have. Otherwise, if you already have, you can use that. Network settings, you can go with the default VPC and any of the subnets, this is fine. And security group, you can create a new security group which open ports 2280 and 8080 and 9999. I'll repeat, you need to open ports 22, then port number 80, then port number 8080 and port number 9999. I already have created one so instead of creating a new security group i will use that for devops sg it has all these ports open so come down you can leave all the other fields as default values come down launch instance so this will take a couple of minutes okay so your jenkins ec2 is running so let's log into that because we need to install jenkins and do some setup on the machine select this Click on connect and select SSH client, copy this example and open a command prompt or if you are using Macbook you can open a terminal. The connection string which you copied from EC2 dashboard you have to paste it here. Before that you have to ensure that you are in downloads folder where your key pair is stored. Okay, So paste your connection string. Okay, So we are already inside the Jenkins machine. We haven't installed Jenkins yet. Let me go ahead and install Jenkins on this. For that, first I will do sudo apt update so that the apt repository can be updated. And once that is done, I will create a small shell script where I will include all the steps for installing Jenkins. So let me do that. Jenkins.sh Let me copy paste the code. I will give you all this code as part of the cheat sheet. I have pasted the code. So these commands need to be executed for installing the prerequisites for Jenkins and then finally installing Jenkins. And after that, we have to start Jenkins service and we have a line which is checking the Jenkins status. And finally, we will print out the initial admin password which is stored in this particular folder. So let's save it. now. Next thing is you have to provide execute permission for this. Now it is ready to be executed. Let's do that by this command. Okay, so Jenkins is ready. So click Q and get back the prompt. Now we need to set up Jenkins by accessing Jenkins tool through the web. So let's find out the IP address of this machine. You can issue this command call if config.me. So the IP address is here. So you can copy this IP address and open your browser. So here you have to type HTTP and that IP address 8080 slash. Okay, so Jenkins is installed. Now it is asking for the administrator password. From where will you get that? It was actually printed out when you installed Jenkins. This value. Just copy that and go back to the page. Paste. Continue. You can install suggested plugins. You don't need to select plugins one by one. So just install suggested plugins. It will take a minute. Here you have to set up your admin user and password. For keeping it simple, you can give username and password as admin admin. But in real life, you will have to give a better password. 
the save and continue here it is just asking you to check if this ip address is correct it is correct so let me save and finish start using jenkins so now jenkins is ready we need to do the further configuration setups for that first we have to set up maven for this because we will be setting up a maven project so click on manage jenkins plugins available plugins and here just search for maven integration so you got that just select it install just check if installation is done it is done now go back to manage jenkins tools you have to set up maven tool here come down towards the end you have maven installations just click on add maven and you can give a name for your maven installation i'll just say maven and install from apache 3.9.6 that is the latest version so we'll go with that save now where is our source code in my case it is in github so i'll give you the details of this repository this public repository you can clone this to your github account so it is university 37 yt jenkins i'm going to use this repository for the load build and this exercise it has a simple web page if you go to web app index.jsp there is a very simple web page jenkins sample project welcome we are learning devops something like that so my repository is ready i can go back and do further setup in jenkins so let me go to jenkins now i have to set up the project for that i'll click on new item and here i'm going to give the name ca cd proj okay and i'm going to say this is a maven project okay here i have to set up the source code management where i have to specify my git repository name go back and copy that go back to your repository click on code and then copy this this one come back just paste it now it is asking for credentials i'm not adding anything because it is a public repository in one of my previous videos i had specified how to create the credentials but i'm going to leave it blank because this is a public repository just click on save now you have set up the project and you have specified which is a source code repository and you have already set up jenkins with all its plugins etc so just click on build now and then see if build is happening successfully okay it is successful so if you want to see where the war file is created you can go to workspace here workspace target you will see the war files created here as part of this load build okay so i said that this is a continuous deployment pipeline so we have just configured the build part that is not sufficient for saying it is a continuous deployment pipeline so let's see what are the next steps the next step is that whenever i make any changes in this code in github it should trigger a load build for that what we should do we should create a github plugin okay so let's work on that but before that i have to install github integration plugin in jenkins so let me go to jenkins manage jenkins plugins available plugins search for github integration this one select it install so you have installed github integration now we need to do some configuration changes to our project so let me go back to the project cacd proj click on configure and here we have to update build triggers click on build triggers and select github hook trigger for git scm polling save okay now we have completed the jenkins configuration changes now we have to go back to github and add the webhook so how do we add webhook click on settings from within the repository click on settings click on webhooks here and add webhook here you have to enter your jenkins ip address just copy this paste and you have to remove the last part and then say github webhook github webhook and content type is json select that that's enough come down and click on add webhook refresh it and see there is a tick mark here yeah tick mark is there so webhook is successfully added now we need to ensure that whenever i make a change here it will start a load build automatically 
you know that already one load build has happened now the second load build should be triggered whenever i make a change here so click on src main web app index.jsp click on this pencil icon to edit this file and i'm going to just make one simple change update number 10 on whichever date okay it doesn't matter it is just to identify whether the file got updated or not or your web page content got updated or not so commit changes and commit message is okay now go to jenkins and just ensure that the load build starts here now yeah you can see that the second load build has started now let's wait for its successful completion okay so that has successfully completed so you can see that whenever there is a code change automatically it is triggering a load build but is that enough for continuous deployment no it is not enough because you need to deploy it and after that whenever you make the change automatically your page your final resulting page also should change so let's configure a tomcat web server on the same ec2 and then ensure that we are able to view the corresponding web page so for that what we need to do we have to set up the tomcat server let me go back to the terminal and here let me create another shell script this time it is called tomcat.sh and i have the contents here which i am going to copy basically this shell script will install tomcat and enable the service yes so you can see that it is installing tomcat and then it is enabling that service and then there is some configuration file we are changing the port number because 8080 is already being used for jenkins so we are changing it to 9999 and then we are starting restarting the tomcat service so save quit now as usual you need to add execute permission for tomcat.sh and you can execute it tomcat.sh okay so if you want to check the status you can say sudo service tomcat 9 status so you can see that it is active and running by clicking q you can get back the prompt okay now we need to prepare one more shell script but this time that shell script will be executed from jenkins after the load is ready after each load build when the load is ready that var file resulting var file has to be moved from the load build area to the document root of tomcat web server for that we need to write a shell script that is what we are going to write next vi web app dot sh and then again type this lines yes that is ready escape save quit you can just do ls and again just do chmod plus x web app dot sh okay so the third shell script is also ready the third shell script will be executed from within jenkins after the load build now while executing this shell script we will be using super user permissions and for that we need to do some configuration updates here so let's do that sudo vi slash etc slash sudo verse and then here at the end you can add one line and that line is this yes now you can escape save quit yes so that configuration is done this is to avoid jenkins asking for your super user password now we need to do a couple of setups in jenkins so let us go to jenkins that web app dot sh need to be executed in the post steps so for that you have to go to cicd project configure and post steps you can see that here click on that and then say select run only if the build succeeds we are going to run that web app dot sh if the build succeeds select that and here add post build step select it and then click on execute shell and here in execute shell we have to add that command to execute web app dot sh just select just enter this command sudo home ubuntu web app dot sh so here it is using super user permissions okay so this is done just save it so now when the load build happens automatically it should move the resulting var file to the document root of tomcat web server and we will be able to view the web page let's use build now 
directly instead of using webhook and then see if it works and then we can do the end to end continuous deployment so i clicked on build now let us see if number 3 is successful if number 3 is successful then we will be able to view the web page yes so it is successful so we should be able to view the web page so for viewing the web page what is the address we have to try i will just give it now so you have to try this address yes you can see that welcome we are learning devops update number 10 on jan 27th so this page should actually change when i make the change in github it should trigger the load build and after the load build it should change the document root and this web page also should change let's see if that works that way let me go to github and make one more change here edit and instead of 10 i'm going to make it uh, 20 okay update number 20 and then i will commit the changes commit now it should trigger the load build in jenkins let us see load build number 4 should happen yes load build number 4 has started now let's wait for it to finish and then we'll go to the web page and then ensure that the web page has changed okay so the build has happened successfully now let us go to jenkins sample project and it is still showing 10 but let us refresh it yeah you can see that it has actually changed so that's it for this lab exercise it's a simple end to end continuous deployment pipeline built using jenkins tool and please don't forget to terminate the ec2 as part of the cleanup and i hope you were able to complete the exercise successfully i'll keep coming back with more useful videos in this channel please consider subscribing to my channel thank you bye